welcome to genius kids channel a channel where you get to watch educative content content on mathematics if there's any area your child is having difficulty you can make him or her watch these videos and you can be sure you can be sure that the child will understand ensure you subscribe share and like this page so that you can keep getting those content that you need uh, we are going to a new topic today and the topic I've seen on the board is multiplication of fractions by whole number we know that fraction is a part of a whole so we are going to be looking at how to multiply some examples are written on the board how to multiply a whole number by fraction whether proper fractions or mixed fractions so let's start with what I have on the board solution we have 4 times 2 over 5 it's going to be 4 over 1 times 2 over 5 then you multiply out 4 times 2 8 1 times 5 and 5 then when you get an improper fraction an improper fraction is a fraction in which the numerator is bigger than the denominator just go ahead and divide so 8 divided by 5 is going to be 1 it will remain 3 over 5 that's our final answer now let's go to the second one 5 times 2 over 3 so 5 over 1 just the way we did the other one so we are going to be having 5 times 2 10 3 times 1 3 then you can also divide 10 divided by 3 is 3 remaining 1 over the denominator that's just it the same way we did the number 1 we do number 2 then number 3 we have 8 whole number times 3 over 4 how do we do this just multiply 8 times 3 24 4 times 1 that's 4 24 divided by 4 here we are getting a whole number that's our final answer then let's go to number 4 2 whole number now this is a mixed number mixed fraction multiplied by a whole number actually there are two ways to do this but I'll follow this formula I've been using this same way the first thing you do is to convert this to an, an improper fraction and this is how to go about it 2 the denominator multiplied by the whole number 2 times 2 4 plus 1 that's going to be what 5 5 then you put it back over the denominator times 12 over 1 now we can multiply 3 you can see that it's back here 5 times 12 that is 60 2 times 1 that is 2 60 divided by 2 that is 30 that's question 4 solved now let's go to question 5 question 4 and question 5 they are the same mixed fraction now we have 10 whole number 2 over 3 times 3 the very first thing you do let's change this to an improper fraction 10 times 3 that's 30 plus 2 that's 32 over the denominator times 3 over 1 now the next thing is for us to multiply 32 times 3 that's going to give us 96 over 3 96 divided by 3 is going to give us 32 that is our final answer now the last question as seen on the board is this just a variation 3 over 4 of in mathematics of means multiplication of means what multiplication so I'm going to instead of writing of I'm going to write multiplication 24 divided by 1 now 3 times 24 is 72 4 times 1 is 4 so in this case what is the next thing I will divide 
I will divide four, 72 by 4. 4 in 7, that's 1. 4 in 32, that's 8. So it means my final answer is 18. You can see that some we are able to get a whole number, some we are still getting a missed fraction. If you enjoyed this lesson, I want you to subscribe, to like and share this video because I know there are a lot of people out there that will need to understand how to multiply fractions by whole number. Till I come your way again next time, see you, genius kiddies, got you.